Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Digimon Rare Rise. Today I want to talk about a couple things that popped up in the notice. Um, and a couple things that just came out, like it's exciting stuff. For example, right now we got new, new stuff in the stock. So, you know, we'll talk about that right now. Uh, we got the Lunar Rewards. There's a large stone in there. Let's check it out. Look, and there's an Omni Stone. Uh, I would be excited about that, but I've just had too many brave large stones fell. So when I get it, and if it works, that's when I'll be excited. All right, there's also the training. Um, make sure this is a good time. If you guys have a bunch of rookies and want to sell them and turn them into champions and sell them, right now is the best time because they're all open. I will suggest stock up on like 100 of each. Max out as much as you can and then restock another 100 of each training item. That's how I kind of do it. Just so I can do like massive ones at once. The limited plugin just came out. And you know, the step up banner was there. Um, the plugins, I, I would say summon for them. However, there's kind of stuff that is priority. Like if you don't have all fours. You know, I, I kind of like him. I think he's good. It's a personal choice not to go for him. You don't need him. But you kind of do. You know, I, I don't, I'm just so pro pro him. So I'm just going to straight up say summon for him. She keep trying. And talking about all fours. Let me switch over here. Let me guys bring you back to the shop. So yeah, and the purchase items. I already bought it, but so I'm going to have to go all the way back. But this pack, you see that little all force there? Yeah, that one's a really great pack. It comes with three stones, uh, one attack, one defense plugin for him. Digicodes, just in case I guess you didn't have them. Um, one of each training item. And it's one of the most worth packs to buy usually. I really like this one because of three stones. Three stones, it's huge. It's way, its value is more than 200 gems. Because if you summon for 200 gems, you only get to do two multis. You only get to get like two, two, 240. Yeah, 240, if anything, of the Digi, Digi Orbs. And it costs 800 to just get one. So it's like, you just, you, it's more than the value of your 200 gems. Not only that, the plugins are really valuable. If you guys have, all fours, you guys have to get these plugins. Like, I've tried them, and they're very good. Um, I'll talk about that right now in a bit. Sorry, I'm doing a little jump back and forth. So now that I'm still here, um, I want to show we got a couple of these. If you guys were missing them, you guys have the Digimon missing them. I guess you guys can get them through here. I don't really like doing this, but hey, if you've been trying a lot and you guys been having really bad RNG about getting the codes. I guess they're there. They're making it a thing now, which kind of sucks. I prefer the the plugins in this area, but then they switch the plugins to the BP. So that it makes it hard because it's harder to get BP points. And I think they knew that, but oh well. But going back to all fours, so let's go. So yeah, the attack one maxed out. It gives 700 tech boost, 24 speed. I'm not too stressing. I'm not stressing too much about the speed, but that attack is huge. Cause look, you know, let's say you're free to play, and you can't afford to summon for the gold ones. Boom! Like it's a 500 difference, 504 difference in attack. So that extra attack always helps with all fours. Uh, not only that, I mine isn't maxed out the defense plugin. It's a thousand HP. So now where it don't didn't survive one attack or where it couldn't survive two attacks now i can at least have the potential to survive a little bit more and it sucks because like you know the tag team kind of originally was able to survive enough to do get 28 points but now all force you know even though it knocked down your opponents real fast it was harder to get 28 points i guess for most people but with this, it, it kind of brings up your defenses. It gives you a chance, you know, more survivability. So definitely get this pack. It's almost a must. And, you know, thanks to that pack, I also maxed them out. Like, I think I only needed two stones. 
I ended up with one extra stone, so that's pretty good. Um, another thing I want to bring up here, I'm going to switch out of the game and show you guys this on the screen. Is Gaiomon. Gaiomon's coming from the game. Uh, according to the leaks in the Discord, yeah, that Gaiomon's going to be, it's going to be a good Digimon. Honestly, I would like to summon for it, but I'm not sure I'm going to, you know, lack of gems. Uh, it's just been a lot of stuff that's coming out lately and, you know, taking a chance in a couple things that I wanted to take a chance in. Um, it's passives does the same thing as Lotus Mon, you know, disable statuses, not the DOTs, but the ones that like stun you. And his attack does damage to two enemies and triples the damage when a crit occurs. So it's nu nuking. <laughs> that, that's basically what we're going to. It is another tech unit, so it's interesting. Like, they were focusing on power, I feel, for like a little bit. Now they're going back to tech. And he's also, his his sub also increases his crit. So I guess you can activate the sub, then the main, and then boom, guarantees that it's going to kill a couple of Digimons. Honestly, I'm not so sure about that combo. But, hey, at least in Clash Battle, this is going to be really good. It's going to do a lot of damage. So, you know, it's a good Digimon. If you guys choose to summon for it, I don't think it's a bad choice. But I think I might skip. I'll revisit it. I'll let you guys know later. Um, he's also going to have a pack. So if you find that three gemstones, three deft stones, you know, to power up their levels is worth it to you, it's going to be there. So that's another thing to look out for. It's going to be 200 gems too. So we'll we'll see when that comes out. I'll talk a little bit more about him, maybe. God, I really want to get him, but I don't think I'm gonna. But he's not a bad digi. These packs are really good, the 200. But I feel like it's a way to squeeze a couple gems out of us, because in the end of the day, it's a gotcha. They want you to buy gems, rubies, or pearls, whatever it is. So I think that'll be it for this video. I'll. Thank you guys for watching. Um, remember to subscribe, like the video, and let me know if you're going to go for Gaiomon. You know, are you excited for him? Um, did you get the All Force pack? I think you guys should. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.